and great morning, Great Valley, and welcome back to your first day of school. I'm Chris, and to commemorate, we have a very special episode of Great Morning, Great Valley for all of you. We have a welcome video from Representative Chrissy Houlihan, as well as a drumming tutorial from Aditya. We have our very first Ryan Sports Show of the Year, and we have another welcome video from Sarah. But first, here's your pledge. Hi, Great Valley. This is Dr. Capitola, principal of Great Valley High School, and I really, really, really miss all of you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, Great Valley. Stay strong. Alrighty, thank you for the pledge. And now, Representative Chrissy Houlihan has a welcome video for all of you. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, my name is Chrissy Houlihan and I represent us in Congress down in Washington, D.C. And I wanted to say welcome back. I know things look a little bit different now, it's very different for all of us. I know that this has been hard, but we are going to definitely work through this together. Uh, please know that if for whatever reason you're struggling, that you're not alone and make sure that you reach out to one another for help and for support. Also, please continue to do the right thing, which is wearing your mask and washing your hands and taking care of one another. We will get through this together. This is tough, but you guys are tougher. So let's go Patriots. Thank you, Representative Houlihan. And now here's our morning announcements. Just a reminder to students that you will be using the web-based version of Canvas this year instead of the Canvas Student app. You will now see a web link to Canvas on your iPads. Use that link to access Canvas for classes. And that's your only morning announcement for this week. And now, here's Aditya's drumming video. Let's take a look. To begin our understanding of the drum set, we must first understand what type of drum set we are dealing with. In this case, we have a five-piece drum set, meaning that there are five main drums involved. We have the bass drum, which sounds like this, the snare drum, which sounds like this, two rack toms, one being high, and one being slightly lower, and one floor tom. There are also three main symbols that are usually involved in a drum set like this. We have the hi-hat, the crash symbol, and the ride symbol. The bass drum emits a low, deep-sounding pulse that can be used to keep the tempo of the beat steady. It also can mark time and play complex patterns. The snare drum consists of two heads, one the batter head, and the second one being the resonant head, which has 8 to 18 snares attached to it. The snare drum produces a high-pitched staccato noise that can be used to accent notes during a drum beat and build up other complex patterns. The two rack toms, both high and mid, can be used like a snare drum in the sense that they can add to and build up beats, but they are also mainly used in fills, which are short musical passages in between certain beats. The floor tom emits a low, deep sounding pulse just like the bass drum but it can also be used like the rack toms in the sense that it can be used in fills. The hi-hat consists of two cymbals stacked on top of each other that can be opened and closed by the control of a pedal. The crash cymbal has a loud open sound that can usually be used to accent certain beats. The ride cymbal can be used like a hi-hat and be hit on the top to produce a sharp staccato sound, 
or can be hit along the edge to produce a large crashing sound. Alrighty, thank you Aditya. And now, here's our first episode of Ryan's Sports Show for the year. Let's check it out. Hey there, sporty fans, it's me, Ryan, and we're back in school! So what does that mean? Well, that means we have more sporty shows with Eagles, Sixers, Flyers, and Phillies. So let's jump right into things with the Phillies! Oh no. I don't know. Bullpen. Oh. In case you didn't know, in baseball, the bullpen typically will pitch the final few innings. And for the Phillies, we just so happen to have one of the worst in baseball, giving up many leads in August, such as bada bing, bada boom. It's a lot. A lot of bad ones. However, as of recording this, which is Friday, um, they have gone on a three game winning streak, and the offense has kind of been playing well, and, you know, the bullpen's improved a bit. They're currently third in the NL East, and they're gonna have to do some work if they wanna be able to make the playoffs, but it's not out of uh, view yet. Now over to the Sixers season, or I should say what was the Sixers season, because they lost in the first round of the playoffs to the Celtics in all four games. <laughs> That's the seventh series, they lost game one, they lost game two, they lost game three, they lost game four. Get out of here! But Ryan, why did we lose? Well, I'll tell you. Well, first of all, Ben Simmons was out and he was one of our best players, uh, talent-wise. And with him gone and Joel Embiid trying his heart out, uh, we were still out-talented by the Celtics and that kind of led to us losing four games in a row. So therefore, we fired the head coach, Brett Brown. So he's gone just like the Sixers are gone from the bubble. <laughs> but we have optimism in Philly because of the Flyers. They have been playing really well recently. We had the round robin, they went undefeated in the round robin, so they got the number one seed out of that. And then from the number one seed, they were able to beat the 12th seed Canadians in the first round of the playoffs. So the Flyers move on to round two where they face the Islanders. And at the time of recording this, the series is tied one to one because in game two of overtime, the Flyers got this overtime goal. And it goes high off the glass. Now Myers at the point, his shot scores! Phil Myers from downtown, and the Flyers win in overtime. Goes into the net, here's the shot again by Myers. It's off the stick of Lee, bounces down, up and over the glove. As for game three and four, I hope the Flyers won. Um, but game five, I do know, will be tomorrow at seven o'clock. So don't forget to check it out if you want to see some Flyers hockey. So just to end on a more serious note recently, the MLB, the NHL, and the NBA have been uh, temporarily suspending some games due to the Jacob Blake incident, which in this like three minute segment, we do not have time to give it justice, but just know that it's a big thing and it's had some effects on sports. Um, I think at the time of this recording, I think most sports will be back, but just know that it's been a really big issue recently and it's had a big deal on sports. But anyway, thanks sporty fans for watching and goodbye. Woo! Nice shot! Alrighty, thank you, Ryan. And now, Sarah has composed their own very special welcome video for all of us. Let's take a look at that. Hi, everyone. It's Sarah, your friendly local non-binary kiddo. And something that I've noticed, and I'm sure you guys have noticed as well, is that 2020 isn't really... Um, going to plan? But that's not an excuse to lose hope. So some of the people at the TV studio and I have put together a little something sharing what we hope for this year. And hopefully maybe it'll encourage you guys to have some hope for the year too. Hi, I'm Chris. I use he, him pronouns. And my hopes and dreams for this year is for us all to beat the coronavirus. That way we could probably be able to go back to school full time. And maybe, maybe not, we'll be able to have all the fun activities that were scheduled for this year, which unfortunately we haven't been able to. And yeah, well, I'm hoping for the best. 
Hi, my name is Aditya, I go by him or he, and my hopes for this year are that no matter how hard it gets, we continue to make the most of our time and learn something new every day. Hi, I'm Jacqueline, and I like to be called she or her. And what I'm hoping for this year is for everyone to stay safe and healthy and um, and keep social distancing like, in, like in case uh, in case everything starts to get worse but but still always be there for each other after all we've been through from this pandemic hi everyone my name is Bonnie and my pronouns are she her and I hope that this year we get a lot of snow Hey everybody, so my name's Maya, I am a junior this year, and I use she, her pronouns. I think one of my biggest hopes for this year is that everybody is kind to each other. You know, this year's gonna be hard. It's a global pandemic, and everyone's struggling. We don't really know what other people are going through, but if we treat everybody with compassion, I think we can make it a really good year for everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Austin, I'm part of the TV studio. My pronouns are he and him, and one of my hopes for the school year is that we all get to go back safe and we all get to see each other in a very safe environment. Hi, I'm Gavin. My pronouns are he, him, and I hope everyone has an exciting year. Hello, my name is Daniel DeCepola. I'm in ninth grade. I go by he or him. And one hope for this year that I have is that the morning show and my academics will still be great, like Great Valley, while we're in a virtual setting. Hi, my name is Sarah. I go by they, them pronouns. And one of my biggest hopes for this year is that everyone stay healthy mentally. Be sure to take care of yourself, take a break when you need it, um, practice mindfulness, journal, maybe do something for yourself today. Hi, my name is Connor Payne, my pronouns are he, him, and one hope that I have for the school year would definitely be to be able to go back to school physically and actually be in school. Hello, my name is Zoe Vernon. I use they, them, and he, him pronouns. And my hopes for this year are that we are all able to go back to physical school. Thank you, Sarah. And that's all we have for our first episode of Great Morning Great Valley for this year. Stay cool, stay safe, have a great day, thanks for watching.